Yo right, I'm here. In the last isolating crate video, I'd made a start on the Gruffalo beds and I'd said that I'd carry on with that and start making the Keemstar trophies for his mum's basement podcast. Well, I did start on the trophies and I quickly realised, don't rush, concentrate on one at a time. So because the trophies are going to be a lot quicker and simpler to make, I'm going to get that out of the way first. So that's what I'm doing in this video. Making a start on those trophies, we'll be doing some work on the laser engraver and then some carving. Well... Can I say carving? I'll say carving, it's basically cutting out on the bandsaw and then using some sandpaper and some foils to make a couple of settees. First job is on the laser engraver though. I'm going to mark out the outline of the brick wall pattern that will be the background to the trophies and I'll use the laser as well to engrave the brick wall pattern on the back. While I've got the laser all set up, I'll cut out the Mum's Basement logo, which is basically a text pattern. I did try just cutting out the outline, making it look a bit like it's a neon sign, but I don't think it stands out good enough, so I'm going to stick to the letters being solid on this one. Like I say, I will call it carving because basically we're making a shape that didn't exist before. So I'm using the bandsaw to cut out the rough shapes of a settee. I've got the back piece and I've got the foreground piece which happens to be the seat and the armrests. Now because I'm doing two trophies, I need to double up on the back pieces but I need four of the seat and armrest pieces because I'll be gluing those together to make them thicker. With the pieces together, I can sand and use the foils to bring them all nice and flush and smooth and then round over the edges to make it look more like a settee. The super glue on these will act as a clamp and hold them in place while the wood glue is drying. I did hope to get a lot more done in this video guys, I do apologise that it's not that much but I hope it's keeping you inspired and it's just showing what I'm getting up to during my days of isolation at home. Yesterday, I'm filming this on Friday but yesterday was Thursday and I got prepped for my while the glue dry show that I do on Maker Radio so that took up some of my time as well so that's my excuse for not getting more done. If you don't know about while the glue dries and Maker Radio I'll leave a link down in the description live tonight as this is going out on Friday evening at 7pm on MakerRadio.net we've got Dave G Designs with his Maker Mixtape and that's a fantastic show so make sure you tune in but you can tune in to Maker Radio anytime, any day because we play great music 24-7 there so make sure you check it out I want to say a massive thank you as always to all my Patreon supporters really appreciate all your help guys I can't begin to thank you all enough and I hope you're enjoying these simple more laid back style videos I've got more to come along with full projects so such as these trophies when they're finally finished there'll be a proper edit that gets put up as its own dedicated video I'll try and get some more done on these now I've got some painting and some staining to do and I'll fill the turnout nice so make sure you click subscribe click the bell notifications and I'll see you on the next video Day 4 laughing instead of crying I've taken the foolish decision to go to Home Bargains this is a dangerous store prior to the outbreak I just hope the cardboard policeman is at the door to keep you safe. Finally, some good news. He's here. I didn't film inside because I didn't want to blow my cover. But the pepper armies are secure. This should be safe in here until I get home. Since the outbreak, you can't be too careful. In the car, my mum coughed. I'm not taking any chances. Come on, Nate, Joe. I only coughed once. <laughs> Day five of laughing instead of crying. I've been scrolling through Twitter. I think I'm going to be okay. Do you know why? Because the celebrities have started singing. Now, while I'm staying home, I have been trying to keep myself occupied. But cabin fever's started. I better pause it 
because I like snacks when I watch a film. It's time for a real survival tip. If you're running out of toilet paper, but you enjoy a curry on a weekend, don't forget to check your freezers because you might have a spare roll hiding that you forgot about. So I just got word that they're shutting the pubs and clubs. There goes waiting it out in the Winchester idea.